NQ8 2022 for Suriname was, you know, during the COVID phase because all the preparation was already being, everything was being prepared in 20, since 2022, I mean 2020. And it was going to happen in 2021, but during, because of COVID, then everything was postponed in 2022. Yeah, because of COVID, we had to do a number of adjustments and despite of that, it was a successful event because with great planning and communication and great teamwork, um, we had a successful event. Um, the training from the GNBS was really helpful because again, it was our first time, so we needed the guidance to um, know how we should use the different um, criteria for the 9, 000, ISO 9000-2015. So we had, I think, uh, a week-long training hybrid, um, online, and we had to do different assignments to fully understand uh, the ISO 9000-2015. Also, the auditors were a part for the, of the training to educate them about the ISO 9000-2015. I think um, to make it a success was, you know, gathering a good team with, um, you know, with different expertises based on the um, ISO 9000-2015. And we had the internal and external team. And we had, we had to, you know, we had a preparation phase because it was also in COVID. So everything was, uh, you know, hybrid. After putting so much work in it and seeing everything, you know, on the night itself, it was, you know, a, a pride feeling for the whole team. And of course, also for Suriname to have something, uh, a quality award for the first time. And for the companies itself, you know, it gave them a motivation to um, work on their quality. Doing an event like this is, you know, it costs money. So by, the, by providing the, the financial resources, it was, you know, it made the event a success, a full event, of course, and the guidance of the CrossQ team itself. So it did play an important role.